what's going on guys so in this video i'm going to show you some of 24k john effect or transitions you normally use in its edit and today i'm going to recreate some of them so without wasting your time guys let's get into the video so okay for our first effect i'm going to show you how to create this type of transition using particles in after effects and with this just right click go to new go to solid choose any color hit on ok add your cc particle world so cc particle world to this hit on ok go to agreed turn this off off and off so with this now uh go to producer and go to the radius for x expand it go for y2 and let's split our z option two we have our z here and let's go to physics gravity and make sure you have it like this go to particles and make sure we have max opacity to be 100 and now let's make a keyframe for position y i'm going to send it to the top uh go and just increase it with this can play with the velocity you can also play with our gravity so you can see from here we can increase the birth rate also and we can go to our birth color so we'll go to our birth color we're going for something like blue and we are going let's go for blue here rather so blue let's go to the top one let's change it to this color here and let's play this and so you can see this is very fast so we can drag our keyframes so you can use this as a transition or those who edit on mobile phones uh, you can use this as an overlay so all you have to do is uh, make sure you have a green solid here then you're going to export this with the green background so that you can key out the green and use it in your edit you can go to our graph you can also make a graph like this so we can have something like this and with this you can also add our deep glow so deep glow So with this you can you can transition from this scene to another scene using just these particles here so if you are seeing some of the video you can go back into your particle and increase uh, the birth rate so increasing the birth rate or uh, increase the intense of the particles and with this so we can also go back to our y and drag it to the top again and now if you play this for the second effect i'm going to show you how to get this one frame uh shakes plus blur so it is i have my clip here and i have also have my test so this is my test here and uh, all you have to do is just create a new adjustment layer so i have my adjustment layer let me change the color to blue and with this we are going to use the bcc lens uh blur obs uh if you're not having the bcc lens meaning you don't have your bcc plugin installed so try and get the plugin and with this we can go to some settings like the iris i'm going to change it from six sided to three sided iris rotation i'm going to give it like 32 and so you can see from here and we now we can increase our iris skill and we can also play with our highlight and you can see from here our highlight and since this is keyframes we can also animate this you can change the quality to whatever you want so with this if you're not having the bcc uh lens blur you can also use the bouquet so you can see from here we are getting the same effect but with this uh, you can see from here the bouquet here is not three sided this is six so we'll go to here so go to this side here and change it to three and you can see we are getting the effect all we have to do is go to your 
rotation and change the angle so i'll go to 80 or 32 all you have to do is go to your blur radius increase the blurriness so you can see from here and just make a keyframe hit you go to the beginning send it to zero change it to zero go to the end and turn it to zero and now make sure you select your keyframe is ease so now so highlight your keyframe go to our graph and uh, make this uh, first graph here so with this uh we can go to our highlight and make sure we can increase our exposure increase the threshold and so if you're not having the pcc lens blur you can also use the bouquet uh, plugin so with this and the same settings as this you can also create a keyframe so if i turn off this we can go back to the bcc and you can see we also have the same effect here so if you're having the bcc lens blur try using it if you're having the bouquet you can also use it so with this uh now all we have to do is add our shakes so i'll go to my shakes i'll use my bcc plus camera shakes you can also use the x shakes so i'll go for my bcc shakes and i'll go to my fx editor so with this i'll go for the jackhammer vibration and turn it to the beginning and make another keyframe send it to the end and make another keyframe and so for here we're going to uh, give it like 120 and for the end zero zero and for the beginning i'm going to also set it to zero and select all the keyframes easy ease so all we have to do is go to our blur radius highlight all the keyframe copy the ease and highlight all of this and apply the same ease to this so with this let's enable our cc so with this you can go to our rotation for the iris and we can change the angle so you can choose the angle you desire so just go through the settings here and choose the angle you desire so if you're having the bokeh plugin you can use this if you're having a bcc lens blur obs or if you're having the bcc plugin installed you can actually uh get this uh, bcc lens and you, it's actually the same as this so just try uh, your hands on them and just play with some settings you can also save this as a preset so that and then next time you don't go through the whole process you just have to just drag it and drop it to your clip and you, you are done Last uh, effect, I'm going to show you how to create this type of circle test uh, effects uh, from 24k John uh, video on Office Edit. All you have to do is just create uh, a round. So I'll select my ellipse tool. Make sure you create a shape. Hold Shift to create the shape here and now we're going to change the color to something like this I will increase the stroke let's go to our scale and scale this down and now let's convert it to 3d so select your shape go to toggle switches and modes and make sure you turn on 3d and with this we can uh, play with our orientation so if you go to this side we can make some orientation here so i'll go for something like this and i'll go for something like this so with this uh let's change the color here so with this we're going to create a keyframe for position p for x position i will go for scale you go for opacity so hit you and send your your keyframes to the end now let's go to our x position push it here go to the opacity 
and set it to zero moving time and set it to 100 go to the scale turn the scale down like so so if we play this we're going to get something like this i like all your keyframe is it is for the s position go to your graph and we're going to make it a, a graph like so let's play this so with this we're going to extend our keyframes for the s position and we're going to select frame we'll copy the ease and select this apply the same ease now let's go into our settings go to the uh, shapes go to content add a trim part to this now go to our trim part make sure you make a keyframe for the start and the end turn this to the end here and now let's start playing with some values here so let me zoom so for here uh, you're going to increase the start point uh, so now let's i'm going to send this to this side here so 100 and if we play this we're going to get something like this so you can see from here so let's play this and you can see it and when it gets here we're going to create another keyframe and some few frames let's change this to 50 and the end to also 50 we're going to get something like this and for here we're going to the x so go to our shape now go to our x our rotation make a keyframe when it gets to this side uh, we're going to rotate this something like this we play this you can see from here this is very fast so i'm going to send these keyframes to the side here now let's try and customize this so recompose this and now let's start customizing this so it is go into the pre-compose and now let's add uh bevel and balls layer style bevel and emboss now let's play with the bevel and emboss here so we're going to the depth i'm going to increase the depth and the size to just like so the cell loops these are going for a color like go for a dark color here and recompose it again now let's add our texture let's check so add our race race uh bcc race puffy and now let's try and make some changes here so go to play with the race and uh, we'll play with some settings Just have to play with uh, the settings so for for the light source make sure at the beginning you we'll have our light source uh, rays come from this side then at the end is going to this side here and for the intensity you all have to do is make a keyframe moving time here and just uh, reduce the intensity so at the end we are getting something like so yeah, this is how you can make this type of shapes and so all you have to do is just uh, create a, a, a shape a stroke circle or just stroke and then just convert it to 3d also add motion blur to this to spice up 
there so you can see from here so you can go into your color and change it to something like blue and we can also go inside the comp the color here to something bluish also like so increase the softness you can see from here you can actually change the color and pre-compose this and add a deep glow and with deep glow uh, all we have to do is just go to the the end and make sure we set the deal color and we're going to choose some colors here and another color for the blue and let's play this so thanks guys for watching make sure you subscribe to my channel make sure you give me a likes and most of you uh, who need any type of tutorial kindly join my discord link in the description also you can give me a message on my telegram and i'll be bringing more of test uh, tutorials so make sure you subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in my next video peace